What are you up to? Oh, no. Oh. I'm not eating it. Oh, no. Oh. Well, it's a heck of a turnout, isn't it? Oh, no. Oh. And I am a clean off. Everybody should be heard. It has large black eyes, um, a very, very uh, slitty mouth, and uh, two very tiny nostrils. Now, don't you think they're a beautiful animal? Absolutely. It is a shame, though, isn't it, to have to shoot them? Certainly. Do you come to games? <laughs> Why not? Can't, can't get a ticket. ticket. I believe that there is life on other planets and I have the proof. This photo was taken in Brighton when we went for holiday and when I got her back I noticed these two strange dots in the picture. I think these two dots are flying saucers. I'm at a UFO conference and I want to see whether these two dots are flying saucers or not. I'm also here to see a film of an actual alien. So let's go and meet some people. Have you seen anything yourself? I have seen what could be termed as unidentified flying objects. Uh, we're down at uh, Invermoriston, which is a wee place situated on the shores of Loch Ness. And then suddenly this lady shouted out, What's that? Because across the loch, at, above the hills, there was this bright ball of orange, orange light, which just rose up from behind the hill, stopped, mm -hmm. went down behind the hill, came up, and then just shot up straight up into the sky at a terrific speed. Uh, no conventional aircraft could do that, or conventional yes. helicopter. That was a puzzling situation. Mm -hmm. And are there any special places that you can see more of um, flying saucers? If you went along to Bonnie Bridge, I'm quite sure of an evening you would look at the sky and I'm quite sure you'd possibly see one of these strange objects. So Bonnie Bridge in central Scotland, in Stirlingshire, is the place in the United Kingdom to go. I've got this photograph, but if mm -hmm. you could look at it. Yes. Right, uh, I take it this is the object here. Yes. Yes, OK. My first impressions are perhaps uh, wind debris, you know, like a paper bag or, or some debris being thrown up into the wind. But uh, to me, it also could be just a bird frozen yes. in flight with a camera. Do you believe that there is a life form in other, on other planets? Um, yeah, I do. I think it's pretty naive just to think that we're the only race in existence. I think it's a bit arrogant to just believe that. There's a tremendous amount of evidence, as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. You haven't seen anything yourself, have you? I've seen, I haven't seen, I haven't had the close encounters, but I've seen uh, many strange lights. What do you think they may look like? Aliens. Could take a lizard shape or vegetation even. I think they look very much like us, mm -hmm. only smaller. I've had an experience of meeting an ET. I woke up in the middle of the night and uh, I saw one standing about where you're standing from me, about a foot away. It had large black eyes, um, a very, very uh, slitty mouth, and uh, two very tiny nostrils. And it was very still. Well, I'm about to go in now to see a film of an actual alien. I'll tell you what happens when I come back. Okay. I must warn you, if any cameras do appear during the showing of the film, that will result in it being stopped, and it will spoil it for everyone. I'm looking at the day. amazing and um, he had six fingers the face was very big large with small ears very big eyes but a small nose and a small mouth and they were taking its brain out I think that evidence was better than mine <laughs> 